That top number we did was an F, F4. Um, uh, how, high, how high do you normally go to? Um, okay, so recently I auditioned for um, my state, all state choir. Um, and I, a lot of the songs had me singing like a D4 and an E4. So I really, really try to practice that. That, yeah. those notes, but I've never sung an F4 like that before. <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay. Um. So let's jump in. Tell me maybe a bit about yourself. Singing. You've obviously been set in Berlin. Um, what's been happening with you? Um. Your voice and what did you keep up with? Um. Okay. So I really, really got into singing like a year ago when I joined a choir for my high school because it yes. was like a requirement to graduate. So I just joined choir because um it, it seemed like fun. And yeah. that's when I really discovered, like, hey, singing is quite fun. But as I started to like it and enjoy it more, I realized how limited my voice was in its range and strength and how much I, more I could still grow. So, I mean, I've been trying to learn on my own, but, you know, I decided to seek professional help. <laughs> nice. I mean, like, I think that's, that's awesome because... Um, building range is definitely a task, um, but like, I mean, it doesn't have to be hard. I think when you're by yourself, it's more about, I don't know if I'm doing it right. I'm like, oh, is that the right thing? Cool. Okay. Um, limited in terms of range. Anything else? Um, I think that's it, really. Hold on. Let me change my location real quick. Mm -hmm. Fine. Cool. Did we did we move to another room? No, I just moved to a space that I could um, actually sing in without causing um, a riot downstairs. <laughs> Got, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, um, okay. So, um, Emery, apart from that, um, what we what I would love to do, maybe I can test your voice out just to see mm -hmm. what's happening first, especially sure. with range, right? Yes. And then I can um, give you some advice. Okay. Cool. Okay. So, can I get you to try this? Mm -hmm. Can I get you to match just these two notes? And I want you to go, ma, ma, ma. 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 That's, that's and that's I'm that's where kind of reaches a bit of a, a cap. Cool. Now now try this again for me. I want you to go. Ma mi ma. Switch to me. Ma mi ma. Ma mi ma. Ma mi ma. Ma. Cool. Now do it one more time, but put your finger in between your top and bottom teeth. Ma, me, ma. Interesting, right? This is this is actually very interesting for me, Emery, because the same note you you're doing now is the one you cracked on before. Yes. Right. And like, how does it feel when you switched over to the E vowel? Easier. Easier, right? Yes. Um, is there anything else you've noticed apart from ease? Is like. Are they vibrating in a different spot? Are they, um, is the pressure different? Like anything else you've noticed? Airflow is like really in, up in the nose area. Yes, yes. 
And so I think this is one of the one 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 part of singing high is learning to tune into a specific type of resonance or mm -hmm. or maybe as you said like the air is in a different spot. I agree. For a lot of people when they sing on the eval, there's a feeling of a kind of shifting up here. You'll just even get that on the other vowels. It might not happen quite as early, but it, there should be a hint of that. So why not go, ma mi, ma mo, but see if you can get to a similar spot. Ma mi, ma mo, mu, mi. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Ma mi, ma, ma mo, ma. That's it. Ma mi, ma. Ma, ma, ma. Ma, ma. Oh, close. So why don't we go? Ma, mi, mo, ma. So on the top note, mi, mo. Ma, mi, mo, ma. Yes, that's the one. That's what I'm after. How does does that feel easier? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Um, because the one before, ma, mo, it was getting a bit tight in the throat. Because it's almost going, mama. It was a bit, bit, bit more like that versus what you're doing just now. This last one was really good. Try it again. Mommy, mom, ma. Still good. Still good. May I ask what note we're singing in? Do it first. Do it first, and I'll tell okay. you. Okay. Okay. Ma. Can I have the pitch again? Mommy, mama. Mommy, mama. Yeah. Hey, like your your eval is really good. It's getting you to some places. That top note we did was an F, F four. Um, oh. how high how high do you normally go to? Um, okay, so recently I auditioned for um, my state, all state choir, um, and I, a lot of the songs had me singing like a D4 and an E4, so I really, really try to practice that, that, yeah. those notes, but I've never sung an F4 like that before. <laughs> yes, and, and guess what, like it, it's, uh, even an F4 is not your limit. Now, obviously, with sufficient training and guidance, you, you will get much higher than that. Yes. But I think one of the very, very first steps is understanding what's happening on the eval. Because the eval, gosh, like you're you're taking to the F four pretty nicely. And like, how on a scale of one to ten, how hard did that feel on the eval? Not very hard. Not very hard, right? Mm -hmm. Once you once you get the resins tuned in correctly, it doesn't have to be hard. But I think the tricky part is when we go to the O, the R. Naturally, the vowel changes a bit more than we'd like it to. And that can make it harder to get there. Yes. So I think I think the big one for you this week, can you use your E vowels to teach your other vowels? Yeah, right? You're right. Even just going mommy mo mame. Once you get to the spot, right, it becomes easier to translate. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For example, ma to me mo. Yeah, I mean, like, uh, uh, what are you thinking? Like, you, you like did like really well. Instant, like an instantaneous change. Very drastic. Very effortless. Wow. Yeah. Like, once you understand it, it like, it doesn't have to be crazy hard. Now, now, not all lessons are going to be like this. Like, I'm not going to be a teacher, but like, gosh, like, every lesson is going to be a break. Yeah, the yes. There are times when it won't happen. But mm -hmm. once you get it, you get it. And then you don't forget it anymore. <laughs> Um, I think that's a cool thing about learning anything, right? Once you understand it, you start to go, oh gosh, that was never hard. Yes. Um, very, very important. Now, um, that's what I really want you to play around with um, for, for this week. Is, is there a song we could wrap up with? So is there any, like, what's one of those all state um, pieces? <laughs> oh, I have not touched that in a month, but... Um... Let's test it out. I mean, like a D4 is no, no, not even hard anymore. <laughs> we can do a Brahms. Um, yeah, the highest note here is like an E4. Yeah, let's test it out. Well, uh, <laughs> I have no idea if 
I remember any of this, so. Um, can I have a starting pitch of E, like an E3, E flat? Oh, e flat. D. Okay. Do love and do he meta, he meta, do love and do he meta. So that was a section that I really struggled on for that entire yeah. audition. What, what's the right. word there? Um, it's in German. <laughs> so uh, okay, <laughs> it's dar di lo ben di in me dar. But what, what's the one on the the higher part? Ben, ben, ben. Right. So so do it again. But when you go to Ben, instead of thinking Ben, think Bin, Bin, more than E vowel there. Bin, Bin. Okay. Yeah. D. Okay. D lo ben di e me da e me da di lo ben di e me da. Not, not, not bad, not bad. That the top note is actually more of an uh, is an E flat, right? Like not an E, right? E flat, E flat, yeah. Uh, e flat, okay, okay, that's that's a different. Sorry. Um, so let's let's workshop that. Let's go, mommy. Mm. 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 Mommy. Yeah, get to that same spot you found before. Mommy. Nice. And so see if you can go, mommy. Pause. Da da da, and then sing, sing the, that melody from that. Mommy. Nice. Now sing it with the words. Mommy. And then the words. Mommy. Uh, I, <laughs> I don't know the rest of the words. Sorry. Um, Oh, oh so, so, like so, so well, what I'm trying to do, Emery, is I'm trying to slip you up to that top note because that top note is an E flat, right? Yes. So, so what's the note that's on the E flat? What's the word there? Ben. Like ben. Ben. And then what? And then what? Ben dich im me dar. <laughs> that, that's very difficult. Uh, but, but what do you want to do? Mami bin hung. And then, then, then the, the words from there. So the, the, the ma mi is just a way to get you up into that spot. Mm -hmm. And then I want you to sing that hard part for me. Ma mi. Okay. Um, can you, I'm sorry if this is asking too much. Can you play an E flat to a D to a C and then to A? To an A? A. A flat, sorry. Ah. Mommy. Okay, can you play that again? Mommy. Yeah, I mean, that sounds fantastic. So now I can go, Mommy, with the words, bin, and, and like with the actual words, the lyrics yeah. there. Yeah, that's it. So now let's go. My bin da. Like do do it with the words now with the bin. My uh, my bin. My bin. He my bin he da. Yes, that's it. Okay. So it's almost just adding a hint of that E, right? And if anything, I think that sounds more like a bin than what you were doing before. Because before it was more you were just spreading and then it was getting tight. And that's why it felt, it felt difficult. But if you can keep a hint of that E vowel there, mm -hmm. clean, one more time, and then we'll wrap up. Yeah, even that's good. Like, I think you're starting to get the hang of it. Does that feel hard to do? No. No. Okay, so now last one. Start from the, start from the beginning of that phrase. 
and see if you can get that. Okay. Kind of messed up on the pitch there, but that's okay. Still, still good. I think that's the challenge for this week, right? See if you can workshop just that specific part, right? Adding a hint of that either, and then see if you can get on in the context of the line. And that's how you get better at singing.